Hello. Oh, hello, mate. Uh, happy Christmas to all of you watching, by the way. It's Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day. Oh, yeah. Brrr. Oh. Oh, it must be so chilly. Yeah, well, there's just all this snow all over me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's gross, this stuff. <laughs> Have you tried eating it? I think the, I mean, the main thing is it's shaving foam, unfortunately. I thought, it was, I thought it might have been fake snow, but it's just shaving foam. Yeah, it's shaving foam. I don't even, I, I have an electric razor, I don't even shave with foam. I had to buy some specialty to this. So will it gradually sort of turn to liquid over the game? I suppose we'll see over the next two hours. I think it's <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> He's my friend. I'm covered in snow. I'm a reindeer. I've got all sorts of shit on me. Um, I've got carrots because you leave those out to reindeer. Not any old reindeer. I know which reindeer you are. Which one? Roldorf. Roldorf. Happy Christmas, Roldorf. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Roldorf. I'm not going to think in my head. I've got horses on my sleeves. I've got shaving foam all over my jumper. Oh, I thought it was snow. <laughs> Key to play. Oh, I was just going to read out a prepared statement first. In the second game of the No More Jockeys Christmas... Ah. Yeah, I've muted him. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. It's just, it felt a bit legal. A bit, you know, not very Christmassy. Lawful, but awful. I just wanted to read out a prepared statement that I've Yeah. Is it worth jingling a bell or something? Please add some jingles to the prepared statement. In the second game of the No More Jockeys Christmas specials, I won the game on the back of a reprieve. The category, No More Job Gloves, was named by me. And shortly afterwards, I said Father Christmas and Mark and Alex both said he wore job gloves. I took a battering in the discussions and eventually a reprieve was awarded. Having reflected upon this, that's the biggest load of old bollocks that's ever happened. I'm sure this has already been covered below the line, but just to clarify, Father Christmas doesn't wear job gloves. He wears cold gloves. He's not wearing them to execute his job. He's wearing them because it's cold in Lapland and in the sky. If you say he's wearing job gloves, then everyone in cold countries is wearing job gloves all the time, even if they're footballers or opera singers or dog walkers. If it's minus 30 and a newspaper seller is wearing gloves, it's because he's cold. These are cold gloves. Shove your reprieve up your ass. I won that game fair and square. We move on. Statement ends. So you're re refusing the reprieve a week on. Merry I'm Christmas! <laughs> I'm saying I don't want an asterisk next to my W. No, the asterisk is there, I think. Hopefully, now that I've read out my statement, mm. asterisk will not be next to my W. I think what will happen is you'll get one of those little crosses next to your asterisk. Oh no. <laughs> it's a worst case scenario. Uh, the statement was a bit sort of aggressive, wasn't it? Key to play. Alexandra Brrrk. Christmas Eve because of the brr. Ho ho ho. I think she had a Christmas number one, didn't she? Uh, when she won the X Factor. No more people who's either of their names start and end with the same letter. The, no, normal, right. the normal name when you think about it. Yeah, when you think about things, when you think about things. You know what I like? The ears. Oh. I think I'm thinking... Oh, I the noticed ears. the ears. They're so realistic. Yeah. Are you saying that my pie isn't realistic? Dizzy Rascal! No more people who um, have been on any of the Band-Aid singles, you know? Count Dracula. Has he got a first name? Why has he got snow on his cheeks? He's having a rough <laughs> old time. Well, because the, the, the snow keeps falling, Alex. It's, Chris, it's fucking Christmas, isn't it? No more capes. <laughs> ah. Are you looking forward to Christmas dinner? Are you talking to us or the guys below the line? I'm talking to the guys below the line. Yeah. Type in what you're going to have for Christmas dinner. What have they put so far? What have they put? Frosties. Some of them have just had breakfast. <laughs> mm. 
They're watching this early because they've been looking forward to it. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Below the line, above the line, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> that, you're including the old rights and lefts. We never, never mentioned them. What was your category, Horn? I can ask that because that's the last question. You can ask it. Yeah, what was your last category? Yeah. <laughs> Did you have someone come in and sort your tree out? Good, isn't it? Nice. Nice tree. Nice. Nice tree. Nice tree. <laughs> I reckon people in, like Dickens might have worn a cape. I think it could be sneaky category. When you say that they wear capes, do they always wear a cape? Or is it you've got to find a photo with a cape? Yeah, a photo, photo with a cape would do it. I don't like this category so much as when he first said it. I don't know much about Adolf Hitler, do you? I don't know an awful lot about him, but I'm going to go Princess Diana. Oh. No more people who, when you think about them, were born and died in the same century. All I'm hearing is no more deaths. It was, to be honest, there was a really good atmosphere when you named this mm. category, wasn't it? It was definitely the proudest I've seen anyone look about their own category. <laughs> With a pie on the head. <laughs> this fucking stuff is all over me. Snow, it's called, it's got a name. Yeah, sorry, snow is all over me. I've heard people call it what you call it though as well. My dad used to call it that, he hated it. <laughs> Adolf Hitler. <laughs> no more vegetarians or vegans. No more people you can prove have, have, had, have pursued either a vegetarian or a vegan diet. I can never be a vegan. I like eggs too much. Ah, yeah. Mm. Is anyone eating reindeer? I mean, Finland. And in Finland as well. I think I had it in Finland. You Where's that land? Finland. I had it in Finland. Revenyemi. Is that what it's called? Okay. I've got a nice guy in my head. I'm trying to remember his first name. Sammy Hippier. Was he a Finn? I feel like he might have been. Yeah. No more people born further north than Birmingham. Hmm. I don't know what that means. On the latitude line, round the globe. I don't like that very much. What's the problem? No, I never understand what north means. It just goes round, doesn't it? But I think it's a very, very good category. The only way I can get round this is just by naming people from Birmingham. <laughs> Roy Wegerly. Snooker player? Sort of. Footballer. What, so it's south, he's south of Birmingham, right? I think the guy said African born, isn't he? And that's why you've gone for him. Because you're psyched out by... um. Can I ask you a question? Why have I not heard of Roy Wegerly, but I like football? Well, he played in the 80s and 90s. It might be a bit before you really sort of got into it, I suppose. I think we have a different relationship with the game. Did he ever play in England? Yeah, he played for QPR, as I say. And uh, Roy, not even the slightest of bells. I've got uh, snow all over me. Is it worth rubbing it in? Come on, get your Aladdin on. Ah, oh, it's horrible, isn't it? Ah, oh, dear. Oh, I suppose it's a case of, like, put it all over here and have the best. The no more people, mm-hmm. when you think about it. I've got, like, I mean, <laughs> Merry Christmas! No more people yeah. who... They- find in 90 seconds a photo of them wearing a top which is striped that way. Hoops, bro. Hoops. Right. And just a, a couple of hoops would do. No, no, no. It can't be like two blank colours. It's got to be hoops. Do you know what I'm hearing there? I'm hearing no more women. You know what I'm hearing there? Well, I'm hearing it coming in from my mouth. So uh, I'm hearing it immediately. And I'm hearing no more convicts. <laughs> Oh, yo, I'm hearing when you said that. Yeah, no more Donald Duck. No more Donald Duck. (laughs) I think he had the arrows, though. Oh, no, I think he had both, didn't he? He spent so much time in prison. He was banged up all right, Donald. (laughs) Ah. Oh, right. Uh, Russell Crowe. No more birds in your name. There can't be a bird in in either of your names. Who's eaten crow? Has he been eaten? <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the Albert Furson joke. <laughs> I'll do a challenge. 
Ah, okay. I don't mean it feels. I don't want to spoil the mood, but I can picture Crow wearing a cape and gladiator. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm gonna. If I'm out, I'm gonna ask for a reprieve because I've never had one. <laughs> well, am I right. doing the work? Yeah, but just bear in mind, I want a reprieve if I'm out because <laughs> it's Christmas Day. <laughs> we'll discuss it. But you don't automatically get a reprieve. I'm sorry, mate. No, I'm just but, saying I'm going to ask for one if I can have one. <laughs> and this is just George Clooney cape. What am I putting? Well, I would stick with Russell Crowe. Well, the good thing is your first photo is pretty encouraging because he ain't got a cape, but he's not Russell Crowe. You might as well check him out in Gladiators just to check whether that's a cape or not. Yeah, Gladiators, <laughs> alongside yeah. Sharon Davis. <laughs> but take your time because it looks like... If he gets away with this without even needing the ret reprieve... Retrieve! <laughs> you haven't even looked at your phone yet. You know you're doing the work. You're not allowed to look at your phone. What time? How long have we got? I would say about... Well, Horn's got the timepiece there. Yeah. Are you looking at anything, Keith? I'm looking at the time. Oh, are you Googling it on your computer? I'm not doing shit. What am I supposed to do? Well, just you get, a picture of, get a picture of Russell Crowe on Gladiator. This is messy. Mark, what's not... happened? Well, I mean, Keith doing the work, because you challenged me as far as I know. I uh, found about a minute ago. <laughs> so now, now the negotiations begin. I don't think you look unlike Russell Crowe, Keith. What's a good quote that I could do that he does? Hello. Oh, I know. I'm Russell. Not so good. Kill the guy. I mean, I think that probably is a cape, I have to be honest. <gasps> it's a fair cape, Gov. Oh, nice. That's nice, actually. <laughs> is it a case of do the costume change and then we'll, then we'll decide? <laughs> well, I, 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 I... <laughs> I think if you're having a reprieve, you're not allowed to wash your hands. We should meet now to discuss the reprieve. Ah. In you come, in you come. It's a different scenario to job slash cold gloves. I'll just get my wine. But look at them. You don't want a sad little elf on Christmas Day. My reprieve came when you got, when I just didn't understand the category. Can he I play that card? I reprieved you. Can he play that card? And that's well, the thing. Did you understand the category? Yeah, no more capes. Was there a cape? Yeah, probably. Should I be defending myself? Probably not. You know, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to say it's quite vers versatile nose decorations. It looks just as good now. I'm an elf. Yeah, I'd probably out, really, because the reprieve isn't just there as a sort of wild card. It's meant to be when you've actually, when there's extenuating circumstances. I've got shit all over my jeans. Yeah, there's a few and... extenuating circumstances on your hands. Well, I mean... <laughs> I'm going to put Christmas jumper on, and then we're going to decide about this reprieve. All right, but yeah. I wouldn't mind having a little <clears throat> look at those ears. So they're on the outside of the hat. Yeah, which means you probably want to pull the hat down a bit more so that... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on me actually now. Hello. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> but I'm a, I think I might be a bit of a smiling assassin here. I, I like to think I play fair. I sometimes uh, fight my corner. Now, what I would say about this is, if he's gone capes in the first three or four goes of the game, I'm like, relax. He's accidentally said capes. That's when I'm quite reprievy. I don't like seeing people going out early. This is a little deeper into the game. Maybe it's a presidential situation where... I think it's only setting precedent for Christmas games. I mean, it's a specifically Christmas Day game when it's already a dead rubber. I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. I'll reprieve the guy, but... Uh, I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. You've got people down there that won't like it. And I think they're probably right. I don't think you can have just a meaningless reprieve if you've obviously been caught. What, what I think is unusual about this, I don't think anyone's ever asked for a reprieve before. No. It, this is very unusual circumstances. He said, I want a reprieve. I'm out. You he's out. Have... He's gone. He's gone. I'm walking. And when you see me again, I probably haven't got as much snow on me. You're not going, you're not going to take the snow off? Well... If it's a choice between reprieving you and you go and clean yourself up, 
or we don't reprieve you and you sit there with all that stuff on you, then it changes slightly. I don't think there's a single person below the line that wants you to clean that stuff off you. Fine. I'll wash my hands and that's it. The rest of it stays on. Wait a sec. I don't think they're loving you washing your hands. <laughs> that, that crossed my mind. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, not. I'm not granting a reprieve to someone with clean hands. If we if we granted a reprieve, no, there's no reprieve. I, do, I don't. It's not appropriate. It's not appropriate for this. By the way, can I just say something? You're not going to like this. It doesn't look realistic that you'd have that amount of snow on your body, but not none on your hat. Ah, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> It looks like you've been in a blizzard. Oh, dear, me. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> dear, me. Stephen Grant. I guess it's no more people who've said our names on stage. What are you talking about? No more people who've said any of our names on stage. One of our names on stage. We can agree with they've done that. Well, I'm, I'm interested to see the old uh, meringue elf doing a bit of the work, actually. Well, I've never <laughs> washed my hands a bit first. Um... I've never actually felt as clean as I feel at the moment. Yeah, do the work. Let's get some hoops on uh, Stephen Grant before we're too much older. All right, I, I do need, I have to wash these off because I can't. Yeah, you better hurry up though, mate. Oh, it's coming down, isn't it? You've got 30 seconds. Okay, right. Right, yeah. Get, get to it. Nah, most of them are different, Stephen Grant. My phone's all covered in it. <laughs> Socrates. No, 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 no. Poseidon. Well, I'll be staggered if Poseidon has ever said my name. <laughs> I'm reading <laughs> Troy at the moment by Stephen Fry. He's not mentioned you. You know, I had Stephen Fry for dinner a couple of weeks ago. Oh, lovely. Sorry, stir fry. <laughs> I smuggled in a joke. Yeah, yeah that's, that's very, very, very good, that. Do you know what I had today? I had a drive through McDonald's. Oh, it's expensive though, isn't it? Yeah, once you've hired the car, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, weren't you telling me about how much tax everyone has to pay or something? No, it's, it's something like 18.5 billion pounds a year, isn't it? Each. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Poseidon. No more people with a Teletubby in their name. In this case, Poe. Reckon he's worn a cape though. Are you challenging? Yeah. Why did they wear capes in the olden days? <laughs> Hang on, I've got to find a picture of Poseidon with a cape on. Well, first things first, usually when people challenge, you go and wash your hands for 58 seconds. <laughs> yeah. May well not have worn a cape because he's wet. I, like, there's loads of pictures of him wearing, you know... <laughs> I'm not moving. We go again. We go again. I think so. I'm going for William Shakespeare, but the new guy, the second to receive the jab. No more people who share with someone who's written more than three decent length things. Stephen Grant, I think. That's the one I think I might go away with. Why? Don't want to say. I'll go for this guy. I'm going to challenge. Let's get Pavlova having a little look at. Yeah, what can I, how can I help? Six three 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 six. I would like to ask the question: Where was William Shakespeare born? It's not going to be far south of Birmingham. Let's put it that way. Well, that was what that was my lure because it's Warwickshire, isn't it? I did think about the lady, but she was born definitely north of uh, Birmingham. It's Northern Ireland. Keenan. Uh, yeah. Warwickshire feels like that south of Birmingham. All of the stories just say this guy is called Shakespeare, and he's had the. Mm. Is there a phone number for him? No, most of them don't include that. And it says things like the taming of the flu or there's some other sort of... Taming of the flu. Piss off. I quite like all them. I hate that side of things. I, 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 I can't see a way of proving that the guy was born in, in the nonsense here. I, I think I've, I can't really uphold the challenge. Whose guy is it? It's either you, Watto, or Dinky Donk. Adam Zampa. What is, what is it? Cricketer. From South Africa? Yeah, Australia. No more. No, no more. No more. No more people born 
south of Paris. So you've got to be born between Birmingham and Paris now. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Professor Plum. No more fictional. I think Professor Plum is a fantastic move. Well, thanks, mate. I reckon I've got my guy. Rob Key. Quick hitter. No more sports people. I'm interested to see what you're going to challenge on here, but I, I feel there'll be a challenge coming in. <laughs> Have you heard Rob Key speak? Yeah. What does he sound like? Can I go and practice it away from here? I'll put myself on mute. Meanwhile, I'm going through while he's practicing Key's books. He's got the latest one. He's done his 25 poems and recipes. And he really written a play, hasn't he, Key? Yeah, Key's done quite a lot of stuff, I think. I think it could be challengeable on that. I... He's written all these Edinburgh shows. Written all these radio shows, you can buy the scripts of them. He's written loads of books. All right, we're ready for the impression. Well, you think he's just got the edge there, and I think the wicket keeper's gone across and caught it. The Dublin. It's a difficult one because I don't want to lose the challenge, but I'll go for one. I reckon he's born north of Birmingham. Born 12th of May, 1979, East. Dulwich, that's right. Oh, wow. Bang in, the, bang in the middle. All right. It's a good play. It means the challenge fails and Key starts to sniff the clean sheet, the clean sweep. The one of no more, no more failures. So the next one I challenge is the end of the game, if I get that far. It's probably a lure. Prince George, the little chap. No more people younger than us. And that's younger than all of us, so younger than Mark. The youngest person here. Prince George, Prince George, what do we think? What do we think? Prince George, Prince George, what do we think? What do we think? I tell you, Prince George, Prince George, what do we think? What do we think? Prince George, Prince George, what do we think? Come on. So what is it just straight in the washing machine when, when we're done? Or bin? I don't think people can go in the washing machine. I think it's... <laughs> Hat in the bin, close the bin, Oliver Bath, I'm Izzy Amin. Close the bin, hat in the bin, I think what I've done is a sin. Well, close the bin, hat in the bin, everyone's fine. I am Neil Finn from Crowded House. Or Tim Finn. This is awful, actually. It's lawful, it is lawful. It's really come down tonight, actually, Alex. I thought we might challenge on that, but I might, I might have got away with it. It's not, a, it's not a really obvious one, but then... I can mind you the one I'm worried about. Okay. Well, there's a chat we had, if, but it's, it, that, mm, it's fiddly. Probably old Charlie's written a few, isn't he? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he shares his name with someone who's written more than three long pieces. Shares a surname. Yeah. Well, are they, how do they do their surnames? I never know how they do that. George Windsor? Well, you've got to say what you think it is. But the author also has to match up with Prince George's surname. Whose son is Prince George? Prince Jules? Yeah, Prince Jules. Prince William. Prince William is the son of Prince Charles. The trouble is you, you get into things like Cambridge. You, you, you sort of do, but I think he's still called George Windsor. Well, I'm just saying William, I don't think is. I don't think he's William Windsor, weirdly. I've got to challenge this guy. Yeah, but you've got to think of a name. It's the, it's the terms of the challenge, really. The good thing is it'll be factual. You'll just be able to prove it. It won't be an argument thing. Stripes. Let's have a look at Stripes. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine him strutting around in Stripes. A blue and white vibe. He's not wearing a QPR kit, though, is he? I'm going through dozens of pictures of, of Prince George here, and... What have we got? He's got one. He's got one. It's the clean sweep. And what it is, is Key is the most important player in the game right now. 
I don't understand why you didn't challenge me on me having written more than three pieces. They had to be published. Like, had you not thought of that? I thought that was your leer. I've got four books published. It, it was worth a go. It would have been worth a go, I think. I would have walked if you challenged her. You think that's, uh, you think they're blank pages? Well, that was happening I, I here. Think I, I literally thought you couldn't be that stupid. No, you wasn't that stupid. Horn, you just interviewed me in, in, in a book festival about one. Shall I tell you what I should have gone out earlier? Yeah. The, the guy's a vegan. Of course he's a vegan. Bloody hell, he lives in Brighton, I suppose, and everything. And Also born in uh, Newcastle. There's four of those. Yeah. No, I definitely, it was, the wrong, it was the wrong move by me. That's cool. That's a cool image. Yeah, that's nice. You've done, you've done well with, you, with your career. Well... It's a clean sweep. It's a very solid Christmas. Key actually has had an excellent Christmas. I think I've got a lot of time for Key. I'll tell you what, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. You had a lot of shaving foam on you throughout. How, how did you get um, Prince George so quickly? Just, um... Yeah, that was great Googling. I've always been good value to the people that I've worked for on this I show. thought I was safe for a bit when you said I've looked through dozens. Which author would you have gone for? I would have gone for Barbara Windsor. Oh, wow. I, I would have gone for a Royal. I don't think Prince Charles has written lots of books, Lee. No, he wrote a children's book though, didn't he? Oh, I'll tell you what, you wouldn't have got George on, on that. His surname is Mountbatten Windsor. It was a very good game. That was a really good game. I think it was a good game. And Merry Christmas. M Merry, Merry Christmas. Let, let Christmas. Me just... Is it Merry Christmas to the older BTLs? I will do a Merry Christmas to the BDLs. Merry Christmas, BTLs. Tim is the Christmas champion. <laughs>